You finished your manuscript and now you're wondering what do you do about a beta reader or is it an alpha reader or is it both? How do you engage them? Should you engage them? And what is their function? What are their roles? So in this video, we're going to look at all of those questions. What is the difference? Just like the letter A comes before the letter B, an alpha reader is engaged in reviewing your manuscript before any beta readers. And you normally engage an alpha reader when your manuscript is still in a little bit of a rough draft. So it could be after your first draft or even your second draft. The purpose of an alpha reader is to look at the overview of your manuscript, the overview of your story and the mechanics of it to give you feedback and to look at where there are inconsistencies, where the character development doesn't quite work, where perhaps you've gone off on a rabbit trail, areas where you've underdeveloped or over developed your story and to give you feedback on that so that you can go back to your third draft and sit and work on what they have suggested. It's really good to have someone who knows what they're doing at this stage in order to help you and give you direction. Somebody who understands writing, reading, storytelling. They do need to have experience in that area. Once you've worked with your alpha reader, they've given you your feedback, you've worked on your manuscript again, now you're ready for a small group of beta readers. A beta reader, they really need to be people who are avid readers. They understand your genre, they like to read the type of stories you've written, and in our case, if we're writing memoirs, they like to read true life stories. And you want them to be in your target group, your age group, in which you're targeting for your story. And so they take your manuscript and the number one thing you're looking for from them is resonance. How does the story resonate with them? Where does it engage them? Where does it enthrall them? Where are there points where it's flat and it's perhaps dull and they're like flipping the page and moving on until they get traction with the story again? That's what you're looking for from beta readers. With regard to your alpha reader and your beta readers, you're really looking for people who you know you can trust, that they will give you honest feedback. Very often we turn to friends and family and that's fine, that's what I did, but choose friends, family, acquaintances who you know will give you honest feedback. They won't just rubber stamp your memoir and your manuscript and say, oh that's great, I'm so proud of you. They need to give you some honest feedback and the one you're looking for most from them is resonance. How did the story speak to them or touch them or where didn't it? So with regard to my manuscript, I actually engaged my alpha reader and my beta readers at the same time. But I did choose a group of six people where I knew one person was really strong in English language and communication and she gave my manuscript two read-throughs and she gave me valuable feedback. She was actually my alpha reader. But the other five readers were all beta readers and I wanted to know how this manuscript spoke to them. I had written my manuscript up until that time for myself. I wanted to survive my grief and I wanted an account of what I had been through. But now I was at a crossroads. Do I put the hard work in to take this rough manuscript and turn it into a memoir for others to read? Something that's really readable that will touch other people's lives. And that was the role of the beta readers for me and it's the role of the beta readers for you. What is their resonance? And so with regard to mine, I was really impacted by their responses. One of the beta readers said it was enjoyable and that was great. That's pretty much the feedback she gave me and I left it at that. Another one called, left a message for me and she left a message on the voicemail that I still have today because she was so touched by the story and I could hear the genuineness of it in her voice. So that was really affirming for me. Another one was actually a man who had read my memoir and he emailed me and gave me feedback on it that was also again very favorable because he saw his story in my story and that's what we want to achieve when we write, that the reader sees their story in our story. Another beta reader was very neutral 
and he did give me the feedback that well I don't really know where your story was going at some places and I was thinking oh I get the picture I know enough about this can we move on and I knew what he was talking about there was a part of my story that was still very rough I hadn't actually refined it I hadn't actually worked with it and that's where he got stuck and that was really very valuable to me that that was where he got stuck because it affirmed what I already knew that that area needed a lot of work but then he said something he referred to a scene in my book towards the end of the book and as he spoke about it it really touched him his voice got choked up his eyes filled with tears and he caught himself and I went that's it the story has resonated with him I can fix the parts that are broken that are mechanical that can be changed but the resonance that is genuine and then the one that was the cherry on top was my husband's response I asked him to read the story and when he sat to read it one night when I was away he said to me I was so enthralled I kept turning the page even though I knew the story I wanted to know what the outcome was and then I thought okay here is a story I'm going to put the hard work in to turn it into a published memoir because I wanted to touch other people's lives and to help them and that's the role of the beta reader to help you know where your story resonates with them where some things don't that need to be fixed and how they can actually guide you as a targeted reader once you've done your beta reader and you've gone back and worked on your manuscript again you can then again throw the net even wider to more neutral beta readers you can engage more neutral beta readers in that first group of beta readers but definitely if you're going to do a second round of beta readers find a more neutral group and in that regard you can engage professionally people to review your work so you could go to a place like fiverr.com or writerfulbooks.com I'll put both links below or you could throw it out onto your social network saying I'm looking for somebody to help me with this that's actually how I found my editor but that's for another video so those are the roles for your alpha reader your beta readers and their function in helping you to write a better book and a better manuscript it really is worth engaging them so I hope that has been helpful for you do subscribe click on the notification bell if you want to know more about how to write a memoir and I will see you in that next video.